Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the DF5 on the service portal training. In this training, we'll learn about that, how we can call from HTML uh, actions to how we can call our client script. Okay, so let's uh, get started without wasting time. So this is my service now instance and if I go back to our uh, training portal training, uh, let's go back to our portal training. In this in this uh, first home page, we have not done much things. We'll come one by one all those stuffs later. Uh, but in this home page, let's say that we are going to, um, in this my task, we have a, a page called ID called my task. In this page, uh, these tables are uh, the incident details we are pulling from this our backend table from the incident table and there are various conditions on that so now we are going to add one button so let's say that open incident and somebody click on that um, they will be uh, redirect or they will redirect to that particular uh, record so let's uh, start that so if I press control and right click you will be able to see the widget editor and you will directly land to that widget editor all these documents and all these quotes are uh, pasted into my website. Uh, you can go and check this, all this service portal document is there here. Um, we are going to talk about today call, call HTML uh, to client script. So from this one, I'm just, I'll update that after this um, uh, code edit. So now here, what we'll do here, uh, in this TH, we have a uh, three header. Um, one is the number, short description, assignment group. I'm going to create one more button or, or one more header called action. And in these actions, uh, what I'll do, I'll first create a button. So create a button, I'll just copy and paste one TD and inside that what I'll do, I will uh, create a button. So to create the button, I have to use the button tag. And once we put the button tag, we will be uh, able to create a button and inside that we have to put the button name. Let's say that open something like that. And if I save that, this button will be visible to the um, our HTML tag. Let's see that. So if I refresh that, there will be one uh, header called uh, actions and you can see each and every action have a button. But if we click here, nothing is happening at that moment. Now what we'll do, we are going to call this button. Whenever somebody click that button, uh, we are going to uh, do something in our client side. So for that, what we'll do in the client side, we can declare the function name. So let's say that I'm going to declare the function name c.open. So this might be our function name. And after that, we have to use the equal to and then function. So this is the structure of this service portal. So now uh, we can see this is the button name. So let's say that um, C dot open and then here we declare that equal to function and then the function name. Okay. And here um, I just will, uh, I, I'll just put that alert and here I'll say that um, open something like that. So I just want to check that. This functionality is working fine or not now in this html what we have to do this functions is declared here and inside the function what is doing just showing a alert message using the function now how do i call this function to call this function from the html you need to uh, put that ng underscore on ng dash click and inside the click you need to define the function name our case the function name is c dot open so this is the function name we have to be used that once we use that and then save that let's see this function is working or not so i just save that and let's refresh that and if we click here you can see this function is working and each and every button click, clicking on the each and every button it is going to be uh, working as per expected. The pop-up is coming right now. Now, what we need to do that, we need to be uh, check that, or maybe someone, if someone somebody click that, I just want to open that particular incident, right? For that, what I'll do, service portal or service now already providing one page called form page out of box, we are going to use that. So what I'll do here, in this case, uh, if you see here in the server side, what are the things we are uh, picking up? 
we are picking up the number short description assignment groups along with that we need to have the sys id so I, what i'll do json dot sys underscore id this parameter i'm going to add that and then here i will say the gr and c get value here and put the sys id fine and in this case what i'll do i will pass that key dot sys id so what i'm going to do that this function is I have declared and the function inside the function I am passing one parameter called sysid of that particular incident and in this in uh, in this functions also we need to put uh, we need to declare the parameter to receive that so I will declare that parameter is id and let's space and plus id so let's see that whatever we are expecting is actually working or not so what will be happen now if we refresh our page and then click on the button it will be show the open and then it will be show the sys id so let's refresh that and now if i click here open and you can see that it is showing this that particular incident sys id so 601 particular incident sys id started with the 9e and 1f so if i click here so you can see each and every incident showing the different different sys id now if we if i click here it should open a, a form for that what we have to do I am going to do I am going to open one page so I will add here call or in the JavaScript I'll do that later part but in the JavaScript we have a call window uh, and then we have a call window.open function inside the window.open you need to provide a uh, uh, URL that URL you just trying to open that so our case what URL I am going to uh, what URL I'm trying to open that so first I'll declare a variable called bad URL and inside that what URL I am going to open that the um, if you see this this is the uh, key and then after that I want ID equal to form page so ID equal to form I want to open a uh, form page and here I will say the table equal to uh, incident and sys underscore id equal to the id i am receiving so this page i just want to open and then here i will say that url and then here i will say that self so <clears throat> what does it mean by that i'll come to that point quickly so url which url i just want to open and then here you need to define the target you want to open it um, separate tab you want to open the same tab so that um, uh, you need to um, define here okay so let's save that and try to um, open that our uh, incident so let's save that and if i refresh here now if i click here it should open uh, that particular incident on that uh, same page you can see this incident is opening so out of box service now providing one uh, you know one uh, page called form page and that form page need uh, two parameter one is a table another is the sys id if these two parameters are available they will be able to actually open your particular um, you know particular record so in our my task that uh, if i change uh, self to the uh, you know blank so it will be open in a different tab so let's save that and now if we refresh this page when i will click that open button it will be create or it will be create and um, tap and open in another tab so let's say this is the atf one so if i click open it will be open in a different tab and this tab it will be open that particular incident which is one one and then short description is the atf test so this way you can open any particular or you can redirect any based on these actions so very basic thing is that from the html we can call any client side script and here whatever functions we are expecting or whatever function we are we want we can make those functions or we can make the we can call these functions available here so this way we can call any function let's say we can we can do a uh, different thing so let's say here we are as i mentioned that the this is the action if you see here this is the action in this action what we are doing we are performing um you know opening that incident so let's say that i will say <clears throat> open incident so this might be one of the actions and then here 
we can pass another parameter called open and these functions are uh, this function can be received here for actions and then here we can put that alert message and see that that actions that we are passing the value hard coded value open we are passing is actually x we are receiving or not so let's refresh our form this page once we refresh that the button name is updated open incident if we click that it will be show an alert message called open and then once we click ok it will be open another tab now here we can define the condition called if action equal to equal to open we want to perform certain actions so what action we want to perform that we are defining here else alert so so that that we are defining here so let's say in this case we are going to create two button so let's say open incident and close incident something like that so this is open record maybe okay and then here i will say that close two button right now we have created and then uh, we have put the condition so if the action is open then it will be open to that uh, particular um, record otherwise it will be just show that alert let's refresh our tabs and see there will be two actions right now available one is the open record another is the close incident so once we click the open incident can see it is redirecting to and opening that re record itself okay but if we click the close incident it is popping up an alert because we pass this we are calling the same function here we are calling the same function called open but uh, you know uh, the actual uh, back end work like um, based on this parameter it is doing so we can update this function name so let's say we'll say that c dot action so user action something like that this function name we can update that uh, so instead of open now we can use this function name user action and using this user actions functions we are doing uh, we are performing certain actions either we are um, um, you know we can do a lot of stuff so basically that's the how the way we can call from um, HTML to we can call that client side so that's it for today thank you very much have a great day